Hi oh guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times. It is a Monday morning, February 26, 2024. I believe, and uh, so I have actually got to get to work on my real estate investment uh, career down here in Florida, investing in the stupidity of humans. So I'm not sure how many rants I'm going to get out this week uh, while I'm attempting to make some money to uh, pay for doing what I do here on YouTube. Uh, but anyway, being Monday, of course, is my uh, time for my dump the Trumpy Roundup rant, uh, which would be a little bit different. I've got like 15 stories, uh, you know, why that motherfucker needs to be buried six feet under the ground for all kinds of reasons. Uh, might run into them a little bit, but what I want to talk about <clears throat> today, I think my little rant that I did here last night uh, kind of kind of speaks for the dump, the Trumpy Roundup rant. But what I want to talk about is is Trump's online army. And I became uh, uh, aware of this in my own life. So, you know, I came out with my Dump the Trump the Roundup rant, I think two weeks ago, got my usual 200 views or whatever. But I find I have pretty much 1,500, well, 1,456 views. It is the single worst rated video, I, possibly in Humpty Dumpty Tribe history. There might have been a couple of them in, uh, in 2020, you know, when Corona Panic first got here. But I don't know if I have ever had a worst rated video. I have a 38... Point one approval rate, which is 37 thumbs up, you know, from my regular viewers, and 60 thumbs down. 37 thumbs up, 60 thumbs down, so obviously I am doing something right, and we have 71 comments to my video. I, I need to do a, a video on both of my channels about wh wh why both of my channels just don't get any comments. That I, I get a fraction of the comments uh, on, on both of my channels. If you put particularly comparing comments to views like you know I, I mean I I look at Sandy's channel I look at the artist formerly known as Vegematics channel uh, I, I look at all of these other doomers and particularly as number of views related to number of comments why I, I have the least interaction with my viewers than any, pretty much any channel I know about. That uh, I, I'm not sh part of the reason is because collapse, but I mean, colony of cells. And guys, I'm honestly uh, getting to feel like colony of cells really did kill himself uh, over Christmas. Uh, he left a couple of weird last couple of comments. I honestly believe that Colony of Cells took himself out over Christmas. I anyway, but with Colony of Cells gone, the, my number of comments was cut by more than half. Uh, but anyway, thanks to the Trump Tards, 
71 comments, 71 comments uh, on my dump the Trump the hive uh, roundup last Monday. Virtually every single one of them negative. You, you know, from the screaming fucking Trump tards. Uh, who obviously never even listens to the video. It was, you know, as I, I, I made clear in that video that I, that I despise Joe Biden as, as almost as much as Donald Trump. I pointed out how the politics of those two fuckers makes absolutely zero difference uh, on the state of this planet. I talked about how I could almost make this rant, uh, j just a rant about the fact that we are being faced one more time in this country with, with, with a showdown by, by two of the most just fucking yuck candidates how this whole goddamn uh, campaign is a fucking dumpster fire. Uh, somewhere between a dumpster fire and a, a train wreck uh, just making it 100% clear I am not a Joe Biden supporter <coughs> any more than I am a Donald Trump supporter. Uh, and, and, and then what are the comments? Uh, just like I heard uh, on my soft white underbelly about how Hambone Little Tail is a Biden supporter. Uh, and how I'm a lefty. So of course the number one meme is if you despise Donald Trump, that means you love Joe Biden, regardless of what you. It, it makes no difference what uh, what you say in your video because all they look at uh, is the. So without even clicking on the video to listen to one minute of it, they automatically they they just search out the title. And uh, and give it a thumbs down, and apparently the the main memes. If you say anything about bad about Donald Trump, you are a Biden supporter. Was one of their main ones. Of course, that you are a clueless moron, limp dick lefty, a flaming lefty. Uh, if you say anything about Donald Trump that nobody other than a hardcore far left limp dick lefty understands that Donald Trump is the single most uh, the, the, the single m most disgusting human being on the planet, you are a Biden voting hardcore lefty. Uh, and, and then a very common one that they do is you are a hippie, that you are a drug using hippie. Uh, and and L, I noticed LSD uh, repeated over and over in the comments that if you think Donald Trump it, 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 it is just the most just vomit inducing human being on this planet that obviously you are an LSD uh, eating hippie. Uh, of course, I, as I've mentioned many times, I have never taken LSD in my entire life uh, and calling as the 
artist formerly known as Vegematic would say, I cannot think of a better compliment anybody can give me than calling me a hippie. Uh, I, I kind of wish I were a hippie. Uh, but, but anyway, so you are, <clears throat> if you think Donald Trump is the most disgusting human being on the planet, you are a hippie tripping on LSD, a, a far left, limp dick lefty hippie on LSD who voted for Joe Biden. Because if you're not at least one of those three things, and probably every one of those things, there's, there's no way you could have the opinion. And, and I'm thinking, and, and, and you know, I, I'm going down these list of names, never heard of these people. On a, None of these comments were coming from my regular subscribers. It was dozens of people who have never been here, uh, listened to one video I have ever made on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and assumingly Collapse Chronicles. And I'm saying this is just kind of weird. And, and so I started digging around. I can't share the uh, New York Times story because I'm, uh, I'm uh, paywalled out of the New York Times. But they did a big story on this uh, very thing, and then uh, a, a lot of people uh, along the same lines running the same story. This is out of the People's Network, whatever that means, uh, talking about this Trump's online war machine. Trump's online war machine, a covert meme factory influencing politics. You know, the memes being uh, that you voted for Joe Biden, uh, that you're a flaming hippie, uh, you're a flaming lefty, you are uh, obviously a drug-addled uh, hippie. Anyway, so, uh, who is this Trump's online war machine? A clandestine assembly of meme creators referred to as Trump's online war machine has emerged as an unofficial advertising agency <coughs> for Donald Trump's online presidential campaign operating primarily anonymously under the leadership of this fellow named Brendan Dilley, a podcast host and self-professed political influencer. The group dedicates its efforts to crafting and disseminating content that lauds Trump while belittling his opponents. And, and, and so apparently, now, now a, a lot of these, uh, I, I guess, are, you know, they're bringing AI, that, that, that they're sending out their AI bots, and it's not just YouTube, it's all the rest of them, all the social media platforms that these bots just go out and, and find anybody talking trash about Donald Trump uh, and with, without even reading the post or listening to the video that what they do is just unleash this absolute torrent of, of vitriolic, hate-mongering, personal ad hominem attacks. The, the comments have absolutely nothing to do with the context of, uh, at least in my case, the video. I mean, it's clear, uh, particularly anybody uh, claiming that, that I am a hardcore 
a far lefty uh, voting for uh, for Joe Biden, they don't care uh, about what uh, you have to say about anything. It they just unleash this torrent uh, of personal attacks. Of course, thumbing down your video or whatever. Uh, making it sound like giving the impression that uh, that Donald Trump, uh, that these maggots are speaking for the majority. They're 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 just completely carpet bombing with uh, all of these various memes, uh, these meme factories. And I noticed on that one, uh, so I did this video last night to see if I could get the, uh, you know, the, the, the vitriol from the other side. Not one, not, not one Biden supporter um, left a comment on my video last night. Not one single Biden supporter uh, left a, 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 I did not get one single troll, uh, from that video I did last night. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's obviously clear to me that Biden derangement syndrome has trumped Trump derangement syndrome that there are more people suffering from Biden derangement syndrome. And, you know, guys, as much as I despise Joe Biden and, and, and the walker that, that, that he crept up on, as much as I despise Joe Biden and would no more vote for Joe Biden than I ever would for Donald Trump, uh, it, it, you know, it's just it's just hard to uh, get deranged by Joe Biden. Uh, I, I mean, if anything, I, I just feel kind of just sorry for the guy. He he is a clearly deluded old fart. He is clearly suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Uh, he belongs in a rest home is where he belongs. Let that old man uh, just go to some uh, rest home and just uh, ride around on his little tricycle or since he can't ride a bicycle uh, without falling over anymore. You know, g g give, give that old fucker a tricycle and a box of crayons and a comfortable place to live out his days. But it's just being deranged by, by Joe Biden is like being der getting deranged, I don't know, by a, by a wet piece of cardboard. But, but how these fuckers, the, these Trump tards, uh, talking about, uh, talking trash about people suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, <clears throat> I, it, it, it is pure Biden derangement syndrome. <clears throat> to be such a fucking spine, on top of everything else, to be such a spineless fucking little pussy as being deranged but by by some fucking <coughs> brain dead marshmallow uh, like Joe Biden get a fucking life and, 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 and apparently uh, there are thousands of people who dedicate their lives their, their number one highest and best use of their lives is, is to scour uh, social media and, and, uh, and, and write these little memes, these Biden derangement syndrome memes. I, I did not think it was possible to have any less respect for a maggot 
than I already had. But anyway, let's just get back to this story. Uh, the memes crafted by this team often steep in misinformation, fake news, racist stereotypes. Well, since I'm white, uh, since, I'm, since I'm an old white man, uh, instead they can't deny that I'm an old white man, so I am an old hippie uh, strung out on LSD. Derogatory tropes targeting the LGBT community. Uh, I, I'm, I think I only had one comment uh, calling me gay. Uh, in scatological humor, their targets are primarily women opposing Trump. Well, uh, they can't target me for that. Uh, and political figures such as Ron DeSantis and his wife, Trump and his campaign team have actively encouraged and shared the group's worth, work with Trump, even suggesting specific edits. So uh, you, you better believe that Trump's campaign uh, is involved uh, this. The, the activities of this group closely resemble those of a super PAC raising concerns about the impact and lack of transparency surrounding the funding of their work. The group's operations, which have the potential to significantly influence political campaigns, are carried out without the publicly informed of their sources and motivations. Uh, <clears throat> Donald Trump <clears throat> and his campaign have been actively involved with this meme team. The group has spent the larger part of the year inundating social media with content that promotes Trump's White House bid and ruthlessly denigrating his opponents. They have created hundreds of derisive posts attacking, uh, this is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and have received private communication and access from the Trump campaign. The group's content is not subject to laws requiring ads to include a disclosure about who paid for them. They have also received gifts from the Trump campaign and have plans to use limited liability companies to receive money from Trump donors to fund their work in an attempt to avoid the tons of red tape and oversight associated with operating as a super political action committee or being paid by the campaign. So we have that article from the People's Network, which uh, repeats a lot of the uh, the uh, stuff from uh, from the New York Times. <clears throat> so who is Brendan Dilly? This is uh, from the group Right Wing Watch. Meet Brendan Dilly, the violence-hungry MAGA cultist behind Trump's troll army. Last month, the, the New York Times profiled what it called the troll army that is attacking former President Trump's enemies on social media as part of its campaign to get him elected to the White House in 2024. The leading figure behind this army 
is MAGA broadcaster and self-proclaimed life coach Brendan Dilly, whose cultist devotion to Trump has gained him direct access not only to the Trump campaign, but the candidate himself. Uh, so, I don't know if this, I think what this is, is a slice of the article from the New York Times. I think what this is, uh, talking about who this fucker is. Mr. Dilly has been a supporter of Mr. Trump, probably because you know, the New York Times still says Mr. Trump for years, and in 2018 he unsuccessfully ran for Congress in Arizona as a, quote, staunch believer in the Make America Great Again movement. But until recently, his devotion always came from a distance. Today, Mr. Dilly, who now lives north of Atlanta, Georgia, says he has visited Mr. Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort three times in the past year. He and his team have posted numerous photos of themselves posing with Mr. Trump. Uh, blah, blah, blah. During an episode of his show just before Thanksgiving, Mr. Dilly claimed to be texting one of those advisors asking if they could join the former president at a football game. Uh, that weekend, he and his wife were reported in the governor's box at the football game. Yes, uh, a video that Dilly's wife Rihanna shot of Mr. Trump walking on the field at halftime was viewed millions of times online and reposted by the former president on Truth Social. Uh, like many other influencers, Mr. Dilly appears to re receive talking points from the campaign. He also claims more exclusive access, describing phone calls from advisors to Mr. Trump to discuss memes his team is producing and whether they strike the desired tone. Uh, Right Wing Watch has been covering Dilly since 2018, and given that he is, has now established such close ties with Trump's campaign, it is even more important to expose how overtly racist, unapologetically misogynistic, and gleefully amoral he is. The most important thing to know about Dilly is that he does not, quote, give a fuck about being factual and will, quote, make shit up if doing so further Trump's political ally. And uh, this is a, uh, I think that he's been ripped down from YouTube. So he has a Vimeo station. So this is a little clip from Brendan Dilly's Vimeo channel, quote, I don't give a fuck, you know, about whether what he says it has any basis in truth is what he's talking about. I don't give a fuck. My objective is to destroy Democrats, okay? To destroy liberals Liberal, liberalism as an idea, Democrats in anything that opposes Donald Trump. That's my goal. I have never made any bones about that. You don't have to fact check to me because I don't give 
Hey, fuck. I make up shit sometimes, from time to time. I don't care. I don't care. Democrats know it. Republicans know it. I don't mind admitting it. I don't give a shit. When I get a chance to shit on the left, I don't mind making shit up. Not at all. There you go. Uh, thank you, Brendan Dilly. But anyway, uh, now I have a little more idea about where the memes are coming from. And uh, so I look forward to more of these assaults by uh, the, these fucking uh, Trump tards calling me a Biden cock-sucking, uh, clueless, far-lefty, uh, old hippie strung out on LSD. But uh, before I head out, uh, I just had to share my favorite quote from, uh, from our next president, <clears throat> Take it away, Donald Trump, our next president. Thank you, Joe Biden. Quote, <clears throat> Under my leadership, the Republican Rep Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and fathers to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who were trying to have a precious baby. All right, more babies under Donald Trump. What are some of the other titles I had picked out? Maybe I'll get to them next week. Apocalypse Now. Donald Trump dons the armor of God and pushes for theocracy. Yes. Donald Trump has frequently hinted or implied that he has been chosen by God as some type of prophet and messiah a divine champion in the 2024 presidential elect election. The suggestion is that Trump is somehow infallible above and outside the Constitution, the rule of law, and other restraints placed on the behavior of mere, myrtle, mere mortals in modern society. Such claims are patently absurd, but that is almost not a liability in his overtly cruel and mendacious behavior. Trump has shown himself to be anything but godly and righteous by supposed Christian standards. Uh... But it makes no difference uh, because, the, you know, his Christian army provide him with the narcissistic energy, campaign funds, and fervent support, and, of course, the votes he will need to become America's first dictator. There you go. Here is, I watched a Trump rally, so you don't have to. <laughs>
Uh, no, I do not have to watch a Trump. Uh, okay, sure we've seen this one. Donald Trump ranked the worst U.S. president ever in new poll by historians. <clears throat> there, our, our newest president, Donald Trump, has bagged the position of worst U.S. president for the second time. A poll by historians ranked him in the 45th position based on 10 characteristics related to administrative and cultural standpoints. Uh, according to the new poll by historians from the American Political Science Association, Trump is the worst president in the history of the United States. 150 Four presidential historians voted on the poll grading the previous presidents of the country based on a number of characteristics including administrative skills, moral authority, and economic management. While Trump garnered the lowest marks in most of these categories, he did come out on top in one category, the quote, most polarizing president in history. Yep, I think we're going over to medium.com. We will wrap up. It is past time to analyze Trump's brain disorder. I am uh, more concerned about anybody voting for Donald Trump's brain disorder than I am Donald Trump's, uh, the hilarious knee slapper by this guy, Andy Ostroy. There is no fucking way Trump will ever be president again, guaranteed talk about that ain't gonna happen. Uh, Joe Biden has guaranteed that uh, Donald Trump will be president. From Benjamin Cain, why the Trumpian grotesquery is happening now to America. Consumerism in our out pouring of narcissism. Yes. Here is which candidate has a huge problem with mental acuity and overall awareness? Well, of course, I would say both of the above. Donald Trump and Joe Biden have a huge problem with uh, mental acuity and overall awareness. Anyway guys, I'm going to turn this over to the uh, to Trump's online army to uh, give us some more incisive political commentary. Uh, and I have got to wrap this up and get back to uh, investing in human stupidity, get back to my Florida real estate investment career while I still can. And uh, I, I don't know how many rants you will be seeing for the next week or so because uh, I'm out to invest in Florida real estate and actually we're, I'm going to take a little vacation to St. Augustine. Get out there and enjoy any vacation you can while you still can. Bye guys.